welcome to, uh, I think I'm going to make this the third episode. I'm in the progress of editing the second one, but I think it's going to be the third one. So, welcome to the third episode. I don't know if I should call them episodes or what. Oh, third video of Outhouse Outdoors, hopefully. Um, not a lot of killing happened in the last one. If you watched it, which you should. And make sure you go like it. Um, but, I cooked some goose. But, I am back for, I don't even know what round I'm on. This place, piece of property, of public land. I think it's like round three or four. I don't know, but. Leaves changing colors. Drive up here was absolutely gorgeous. But, you know, got the goal in mind of killing a deer now. So, hopefully, I can fling an arrow through one. But, just got here. Thank God no one's here. It's a Tuesday. Last time I was here on Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Yeah, like six hours before sunlight was up. There's two trucks here. So, luckily, there's no one here today. I'm early enough. I had one class this morning and I showed up for it. And there's. Everyone else was there, but my professor never showed up, so 15 minute rule, I guess you gotta love it. So, so I get out hunting now, so. I'm out here, and I'm gonna get ready, and I will give you updates when I'm out in the woods. So, enjoy. Well, some of the not best choices I've been made, and I'm currently in a tree, not attached to anything, but I'm in a tree, so that's good view is great there's a swamp um there's this field right in front of me i'll show you in a second but I'll show you the situation i'm in right now i'm just kind of straddling this tree but i'm up pretty high i don't know that's good 15 foot drop i should be able to turn around and hopefully get out of this grab my stuff but i don't know if i want to sit here tonight or not so i'm up there Tree pegs up right here, so that's why I climbed this one. See those pegs up here. Anyways, the wind's not the best, it's kind of blowing straight by the deer are gonna come. So I might just go back to my other tree. I just wanted to check out this area before the rut starts happening because this area looks pretty good. There's bedding over there out yonder. You can't see where I'm pointing. It's a good camera. Camera quality. Oh shit. Phone, but um, yeah. So hopefully, when the rut comes and I get a good wind for this spot, it could be decent. I just need a, I think a western wind. I'd have to look, but the wind's out of the south right now, so it's blowing that way. If you can see pointing, but um, yeah, pretty good shape. I'm sweating my ass off right now. It's hot. Well, it's not hot. It's like 60 degrees, but I have my thermals and my bibs. So not my best choice, but I knew I was going to be sitting, so I'd rather be warm than cold for a sit. So, I don't know. I'll see. Because the other spot kind of sucked to stand in the whole time. But I feel like you kind of want to set up on a scrape right now. But on the other hand, this spot is a little comfier to sit in, I think. But bad wind right now. So these spots got its pros and cons right now. And I don't know if I'm going to see anything tonight because the weather's warm and I haven't seen a deer in this spot yet but there's so much sign. I don't know when it moves though. It might be a morning spot. I have not sat here in the morning so I kind of want to look over the swamp see if there's anything bedded down but I will see in a second and give you guys an update. I am now going to show you how to climb a tree that has like old pegs in it with all your gear on so get it all on right got my saddle binos everything but i am leaving my boat in here i got attached to a string on me so i can pull it up but i'm gonna try to do this one-handed not my best idea but we'll see if i can so i'm on the first peg Oh, 
I'll just think where things get difficult because I have no hands. But here, I'll put that on the tree. Oh, you can see. I'm on the top of the tree, but I'll we'll put the phone up in. I'll be at the top in a second. Okay. Oh, oh. I'm almost up. Well, I'm now set up in the tree. We got about four hours till shooting lights over. Wind's picked up quite a bit. Um, I'll show you the full view in a second, but wind's not the best at all. But I just want to sit here at night, hoping to see at least one. But expectations are low. I haven't seen a deer yet. I'll sit in. I've seen some driving and stuff, but nothing will sit yet. So hopefully tonight's the night. But we will see. That's why they call it hunting and not killing. sign up life in a while. He's had a grouse kind of walk in like 10 yards away. I had a shotgun. I would have shot him, but I'm deer hunting, so I can't. But at least I know there's a grouse in the area again. I mean, I was scared one up walking in the first time, so <laughs> this could be a pretty good grouse spot if I walked around, so maybe that could be another day, but no deer yet. Wind picked up, it's a little chillier now, so maybe it'll get a moment, but we'll see. I don't know, but I'm almost 100% sure I heard a buck grunt. Like, I've never heard one before, but that was like 100% a buck grunt, and it came straight downwind of me. So, I don't think it'll come in. either a buck or a person, but it was 100% a buck grunt, but it just came from over there. <sighs> I feel like I should be in my other spot right now, but you live and you learn. I'm just, you never know where they're coming from. I thought they'd come in. I haven't seen anything yet. I just heard that one, I'm pretty sure, buck. But nothing I've seen. But it's kind of started to rain a little bit. I'm on the outskirts of the storm, so it could hit me. It could not. I prefer it wouldn't, but we'll see. But got about an hour and a half till I'll shoot lights up. Do one last update unless I see anything here, but hopefully something comes out and walks into range. But we will see. The rain's coming down a little harder now, it's kind of getting nasty out here. The tap has really dropped, the wind has really, really picked up. But I don't know if I want to get down early or not. I mean, why would this has happened? I haven't seen anything move. But I gotta see. I do have school tomorrow, so. And the idiot video they edit. But. I don't think about it. I gotta see. I will see. A little update. I did climb down early because I knew it was gonna rain and I was late. It's kind of pouring out of 
I did hear a buck guard came from. Per usual, is your public land, another hunter who maybe was set up 100 yards away from me. I don't know when he came in, but once again, oh my god, why is public land? But he was up in a tree and walked over there, kind of, I kind of walked around the call, see if I can see someone across the buck. It might be moving. Yeah, that was no buck. It was a hunter, of course. So, I don't know if she went. So I take a different route back. And I don't want to mess with this hunt too bad. I just want to get down early because I think it was going to rain. And I got my rain here. And nothing was moving. I hadn't seen a doe yet, so. Kind of suck ass, but. There's nothing I can do about it. He blocked the entrance. But I'm not an asshole like that, so. But we'll see how many vehicles are there when I get there. But it's a Tuesday, so. I think this is the same guys that I saw last time. But I even left the, the number on the track last time here so I could communicate with them if they were out here. Well, they never texted me, so that's their fault. But I will see if I get back if you want to know. This crazy so fresh. There's still piss on it. You see, everywhere else in the woodwork, there's still piss on it from when a bucks of piss on it, so. Holy cow, it's strong. You're in the area. I forgot to film a segment part going to the next part of the video. So, clarify, I did not see anything the rest of the night. I went back to my dorm and went to bed. But then, a couple days later, I drove back home to go put my brother with the youth deer season in Minnesota. So, I'm going to cut to that. It is October 20th, so that means it is the second day of rifle youth season in Minnesota. So, I am here with a special guest today. Please state your name and cause. Uh, I'm Micah House. And what is your cause? To shoot a deer. Uh-huh, okay. So, Micah, he's my stinky little brother, and he was dropped on the head as a child, so... If you have any questions of why he's like this, yes. Um, but we are going out to some private land. Thanks Jimbo for hooking us up. And we are going to try to get him his first ever deer with, or, or any deer, rifle or bow. So as the goal today, you know, it's not about killing. It's about the adventures we have. But preferably, I hope he kills one because I don't want to hear him whine about it. So I will give a little updates when we get out there and it gets a little brighter. But we got about an hour till shooting night, I think. I don't even know when shooting night is, so probably a good thing. Well, we're walking to the stand right now. Mike, do you have a little poop running down your leg? Oh, yeah, okay. You know, it's kind of eerie out here, just me and him. But like this. Especially we didn't go out with the headlamp. We, we're walking out headlamps and I don't know, even though I'm 18, I'm still, you hear noises, but we just heard like a coyote, like just howl off, like not too deep in the wood. There's a little poop running down my leg, but you know, I have a knife. He's got a gun, but so I, it's, called, it's called hunting. Well, I don't know why it's called hunting, but it's called hunting and I'm just a little, a little less, I guess, though, so, but, everyone's a little scared of the dark, maybe me a little more, but, I'll, I'll let you know when we get there, alive, hopefully, or a window go would get us.
got him. Nice. He's gonna to try to be quiet. It's not that easy for him, obviously. But any updates I'll show you. We just got done checking. God, it's no bad right here. I don't know. Oof. But just got done checking the second camera. It got attacked by a bear, so I don't see pictures on it. And the bear knocked it, turned it completely off the trail, so there wasn't much on that one. I don't know if the camera's ruined or not. There's a part that's messed up on it. It looked like it was still taking pictures, but I don't know if it can take night pictures anymore or something. But I just left it off and put a new SD card in it. I'll take it later because rifle season starts soon. I don't really feel like having to buy another trail camera to put up for a little bit, but I'll see. Not sure yet what the plan is, but I'll show you the pictures when I get back and can look through them kind of. But I did see what's on some of them. Pretty cool, but something I've never seen out here before so show you that but Micah thoughts uh some really good pictures on the trail camera hopefully we'll get a deer tomorrow you're going out tomorrow I don't know okay well if not in two days or three or four okay we'll see or however long it takes but we're heading back to the truck we'll go something eventually don't worry it's time for Casey's breakfast pizza Casey's so we'll give you updates on that a little mukbang or something. I gotta show the haul off. What do we got? We got that Casey's breakfast pizza. Amen. Thanks to Mrs. House Close for hooking us up, ordering it on the way back to the Casa de Casa. But we'll we'll give you guys updates after we house it. Well, this is the trail cam pictures I was talking about. As you can see, this is one very strange looking deer. That's what I thought right away because I opened the camera and I see this. I was like, wow, that box antlers are really messed up. And then I looked at it a little closer and I was like, that is no buck and that is a bull elk. So I was not expecting to see this because we've never seen elk out here or even around Minnesota or the parts of Minnesota where I live. I've heard of them, but I've really seen them. But you'll see this is the second picture of him. And you can see the nice elk butt, but very cool to see. And then this last picture is, of course, the second camera where this kind bear really decided to adjust my camera for me and then mess up everything else. But that was kind of all that was on him. There was a few does and stuff here and there. There's one decent bug, but nothing really good to show. But it'll change when the rut comes, but. We will see then. I think I'm going to start making this a tradition where I forget to film the outro. So this is the outro you're getting. Um, I didn't get to go back out hunting with Micah. But hopefully he'll get one during the normal rifle season. But thank you for watching the video and please like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.